I guess almost a full week through fall practice now. What are your thoughts on the overall receiver group? You know, I think we're getting better. Uh, they've been working really hard. We've got, developed more consistency. And the biggest thing that Coach Golden and Coach Fish said that when we came out, we wanted to be practice 16, meaning that we're starting right where we ended up from the spring game. And I think all those guys have bought into that, and they've really shown a lot of development. With Ray Sean and Phillip, I mean, have you seen things? Obviously, they're fresh and they have a lot of fun, but have you seen some things that make you think maybe one or both of them can help out right away? Yeah, I mean, they're both battling and competing for, for reps. Um, you know, I think the good thing is as a coach, when you start recruiting and the guys show up, you want to make sure they – the reason you recruited them is the, it, they show it when they're here. And both of them have shown that, you know, Phillips, he's really picked up. You can see why every, he was highly recruited coming out of St. Thomas. And Rashawn is exactly what we thought in terms of being a big receiver who can do a lot of things with the ball in his hand. So I think, you know, getting those two guys and, and getting them in the program, they've been here all summer working hard. So, you know, it's, it's really helped them get in and be able to compete for us right away. Coach, how are you in terms of balance? I mean, I know you guys have had receivers kind of balanced out. I mean, do you need that, that one guy there, or do you think you can just kind of kind of stick with that that whole system of just having multiple guys contributing? The system I've come from is kind of always you have multiple guys, and I think that's the best way. You know, sometimes I've been in a situation where you just have one go-to receiver, and that receiver gets hurt, and then the, the season or the passing game kind of takes a, a, a drop off, and both me and Fish have experienced that, you know, at another school that we're at. So the biggest thing that we're preaching to the guys is that, you know, if it's three Personnel, three receiver personnel, two receiver personnel. We feel like we have two or three number one receivers out there on the field at the same time. And that way, for Ja'Cory or whoever's the quarterback out there, they don't have to worry about going to one person. They can just go through their progression and have confidence in everybody that's out there. Coach, you know, over the last few years, some of these guys that have been here maybe haven't gotten the opportunity or haven't shown what, what they came here, their expectations. And we talked to a lot of them. You know, you get to the point that maybe it's some confidence has been shattered a little bit. How are you building these guys up in camp letting them know, hey, you know, you got the opportunity to show it on the field. Well, the, the first thing, you know, sometimes guys don't get opportunities, but the way that Coach Golden has practice set up, you know, we're going a lot of two spot where we're splitting up groups, so everybody's getting reps. You know, there's two drills going on at the same time, so everybody's getting reps. And the biggest thing is that we tell them is whatever you put on tape is who you are. So don't, don't really talk about what you haven't got. When you get an opportunity, whether it's one rep or 20 reps, make sure that's your best opportunity. And that way, you know, when they're being evaluated, they're being evaluated of what they've shown us. But, you know, in the course of the on-the-field stuff, behind closed doors, like how are you, you know, kind of building them up or just getting mentally ready for all this as well? You know, the biggest thing that we talk about, you know, is, is the next man up uh, philosophy. And, and, you know, we're a positive group. Coach Fish and both of our believe in being positive, approaching all.